While we all have come across lizards at least once in our lives, the chances are the ones you have seen must have been small, harmless, and in turn were eaten by animals above them in the food chain. But have you ever seen a lizard so big that you would run a mile into hiding just by spotting it? There is a subdivision of these giant lizards called monitor lizards, and Komodo dragons are hailed as big daddies to all of them. For a moment, just look at their appearance. They look like a mixture of an alligator with the head of the pit bull venom of cobra and the speed of a dog. This ultimately gives them the appearance of a mini dragon, a beautiful and ferocious dragon that is one of its kind. The Komodo dragons became quite a popular attraction when they were first discovered by the Europeans and brought into their zoos. Komodo dragons are one of the most fierce, bloodthirsty, ruthless reptiles ever. Just one look at them is enough for you to reconsider your choices. Komodo dragons, also called Komodo monitors, are members of the diverse monitor lizard family consisting of 80 more officially recognized species and most of them possess venom-secreting glands like Komodo dragons. But out of all of them, Komodo dragons have something most do not, their aggression and quick speed. Yes, Komodo dragons are incredibly fast and can speed up to 20 kilometers per hour, and when chasing an animal, they can consistently maintain this speed for many miles, and it might be very hard for humans to outrun this deadly monster. The Komodo dragons are carnivores and feast on animals from monkeys to snakes. You name it, they have it, and Komodo dragons are mostly the king of their area since it only lives in a certain type of habitat, which is unsuitable for other animals. Their main prey is Timor deer, but they also feast on different types of animals that differ in size. Their saliva is said to contain bizarre and harmful bacteria, which are said to have helped them make their bigger prey weaker, and they use their enormous tongue to find their prey if they can escape to a distance. These land monsters also have one of the strongest bites ever recorded, and their enormous muscles give their appearance a bulky and scary look. Their bite force is enough to send you to hell in an instant, as many people who have been a victim of its bite have called it a living hell because of the complications and side effects caused by the bite, and they describe the pain of this bite as something very horrific. The dragons also play a huge role in the ecosystem since they are also partly scavengers and they feed on the corpses of any animals that they find that are killed by natural causes or other causes. They are famous for digging the deceased humans' graves and eating their rotting corpses. Yikes, this is something very scary. Then the people living in that area change the location of the graves and replace them with another type of sand. This is no surprise because their nose can detect a carcass as far as six miles away. Komodo dragons can go up to one month without food if they feed on a large animal like water buffalo. This reptile species has 60 teeth, a large number of teeth for any other reptile species, and their teeth also share similarities with shark teeth. Yes, you heard that right. And it is a fact because both of these animals have very sharp and cutting-edge teeth that will cut through your skin and muscles at the speed of light. Well, not at the speed of light, but you get the idea, right? These are very sharp and extra painful according to the human experience. The Komodo dragon has a bite force of 32 newtons and teeth one of the world's sharpest. The lethal bite, combined with its saliva, will cause a sudden blood pressure drop in its victim and the death is just as painful as the bite. These reptiles also feed on venomous animals like snakes and sometimes when they are too lazy, they surprisingly eat their babies. And this is the reason why the younger Komodo dragons have a defensive mechanism like climbing trees to protect themselves from the older dragons who are preying on them. So if a Komodo dragon is ever chasing you, don't climb the tree as you may have a chance to find another one of these reptiles attacking you from above. And if by chance you get chased by a dragon, make sure you run in a zigzag pattern since the Komodo dragons can only run straight. And when we talk about the comparisons between the Komodo dragon and snake, it mainly comes down to how their venom affects their victims. While the snake injects the venom into the body, the Komodo dragon's venom gets into the victim through its wounds, which causes a more slow, painful death. When they possess a threat from their species, they protect themselves with the help of their thick, armor-like protective skin which they develop through the years. This is comprised of thousands of tiny bones which are under the skin. These skin deposits are called osteoderms. These skin and bone deposits will help them survive brutal fights as these reptiles are said to be no-nonsense creatures that can go to the maximum physical limit to hunt and feed themselves if needed. The Komodo dragons are mainly found in the forests of Indonesia and many people in the world witness these beautiful monsters in the Komodo National Park. 
The Komodo National Park has a population of more than 4,000 Komodo dragons. Now that's a lot by the metrics and the size of the land they live in. The Komodo National Park also comprises many volcanic islands. Also, it provides a perfect living condition for the dragons, as the Komodo dragons are habituated to living in hot and humid conditions. While Indonesia is the place where most of the Komodo dragons live, these beautiful reptiles were born and originated in Australia. Yes, Australia the home to some of the most venomous animals in the world. According to the available fossil records, the Komodo dragons were first discovered in Australia and moved to Indonesia around 90,000 years ago. And according to scientists, the Komodo dragons disappeared from the continent of Australia about 50,000 years ago. The disappearance is close to the arrival of humans. While some people entertain the idea of raising a Komodo dragon in their home, it is often too late until they realize the mess they have created. Komodo dragons don't hesitate when it comes to attacking humans. They will attack you with their strong bite if they ever feel vulnerable to any other animal that comes into their territory and tries to muscle them. The Komodo dragons are also not very social since they are found to be very much solitary. These dragons find or make burrows to sleep at night and escape excessive heat during the daytime. These burrows are located on the slopes of dry stream beds among the tree roots. And the mature dragons are said to live more leisure and peaceful lives. The dragon comes out of its burrow in the morning and starts looking for a sunny spot to warm up. Once they are heated to a comfortable temperature, they start looking for their first meal. After they hunt and eat their meal, they go back to their burrow to sleep during the hottest part of the day. And after waking up, the dragon goes out on a hunt for its afternoon meal which is then finished off by a bedtime meal by the end of the day. It takes a couple of years for these reptiles to become mature and they have an average lifespan of 30 years. And this isn't all yet. There is much more about this bloody creature that still fascinates us. It turns out that the Komodo dragons have a natural ability to produce asexually. While many species of monitor lizards produce asexually, scientists didn't know if Komodo dragons could do it or not. It turns out that these poisonous reptiles do that and this came to light during a 200 research where they found out that they use a special process which is called pathogenesis. Two female dragons managed to produce eggs asexually in a London zoo without involvement from male dragons and their presence was banned anywhere near the area. Many species in the world perform pathogenesis. This was the first time it was seen to be performed by the Komodo dragons. This exotic and rare species has had its share of misfortunes. A major and steep decline in the amount of Timor deers due to poaching has caused a scarcity of food. Because Timor deers are the primary food of Komodo dragons and major climate change problems aren't very helpful either. And the Komodo dragons are also hunted illegally by many people in the world because of their thick and rare type of outer skin, which is fancied by the higher class. These reptiles are said to be the closest living relatives to the dinosaurs and IUCN has now announced that they will now classify this species as endangered. While most of the population living inside the Komodo National Park is being taken good care of, it is not the same, for the dragons that live in the Flores are having a hard time due to habitat loss, and it is believed that there are very few mature dragons living. Alright, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel for more updates.